Now, I know that these concepts are not covered on the virtual QFX platform, but I'm hoping that we have more success when we reach the routing VMX platform, as these concepts are going to be repeated there. With that being said, let's jump into the next topic, which is graceful routing engine switchover, which I will refer to as GRES. This feature enables a virtual chassis stack to continue forwarding packets so that the traffic is not interrupted even if one of the routing engines fails. If the backup routing engine does not receive a keep alive from the master routing engine after 2 seconds, it determines that the master routing engine has failed and takes over. However, even though interface information and the kernel remain intact, the kernel being what contains all of the operating system services, Neighbouring devices can detect that the master routing engine has experienced a restart and their routing protocols will reconverge accordingly. To prevent routing protocol reconvergence during a switchover, GRES must be combined with either non-stop active routing or graceful restart protocol. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing as 86% of viewers aren't currently subscribed. Which we're going to cover next. To set up the virtual chassis configuration to use GRES, we establish two devices first and assign the highest priority to both members as they are the ones that we want to be the primary and backup routing engines. Then we configure graceful routing engine switchover and commit the configuration. It's question time. Question 1. What is the primary purpose of graceful routing engine switchover, GRES, and Juniper Networks? A. Improving data plane performance. B. Enhancing network security. C. Minimizing downtime during routing engine transitions. D. Accelerating packet forwarding speeds. The answer is C. The primary purpose of GRES and Juniper networks is to minimize downtime during routing engine transitions. GRES allows for a graceful and seamless switchover from the active routing engine to the standby routing engine in the event of a failure or planned maintenance. Question 2. Which feature often works in conjunction with graceful routing engine switchover, GRES, to maintain uninterrupted control plane operation during a switchover event in Juniper Networks? A. Quality of Service, QoS. B. Nonstop Routing, NSR. C. Virtual LAN, VLAN. D. Intrusion Detection System, IDS. The answer is B. Nonstop routing, NSR, often works in conjunction with GRES to maintain uninterrupted control plane operation during a switchover event. NSR ensures that control plane processes continue to operate without interruption, allowing for a seamless transition from the primary routing engine to the backup routing engine. To get the complete question banks for all the JNCISENT videos, drop us an email at info at